footage. What is that a planet? What the moon? No, the dot. Uh, the stint is it? There was just a small little, uh, what seemed to be like a black airplane moving with a blinking light, right? You would think it's an airplane, but it's not. Yeah. Check out my YouTube channel. You'll know what I'm talking about. If you ever get a chance. I thought I'd let you know about the moon since, uh... Yeah, you see me with my camera out here. It's actually really, really good footage. I appreciate that, boss. That's... Yeah, it's called the uh, Alienated Godsend. Yeah, common spelling. Yeah, yes, sir. Which one? What strip? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, dude. I got so much ridiculous footage. Just it's insanity. As a trip, huh? It doesn't look like it's real, huh? It looks like it's actually just like a a hologram or like a collage or something. Like a painting. Like a painting, huh? But then, of course, it moves. Yeah, it's a trip, dude. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm nearsighted, so I can't see far away. Yeah. Glasses put on a really messed up most of the time. Yeah, dude, my, my contacts do that, too. I know exactly like, what you're talking about. And it's like everything else, like the sky and stuff, it doesn't look real. Yeah, well, there's there's a lot of things that uh I've been uncovering lately, bro. Like, it's pretty intense. I tell you what, that's like Christmas cards. I knew the moon was gonna come out tonight just by the way the sky was. Yeah. I could always tell just by the um. Every The other night, it was just straight up. Yeah. And then there's other times in the day where the moon's already up there. Yeah. And it's in the same side where the sun is. And it's like, how is that even possible? How can the moon be on the same side of the sun if they supposedly elliptical orbit each other? Yeah. Well, there's the eclipse, too. That's true. Yeah. That's very true. But why isn't it eclipsing, then, if they're on the same side? Probably on a different part of the world. I don't it know. In the same spot the time. Yeah, no, true that. But you would think because of the moon and the way the sun move more more than what they tell us, yeah. you would think there'd be more eclipses. But yeah, all like the stars. I don't know if there's gonna be stars soon. There should be. Yeah. But it's. The stars I see is Orion's oh yeah, you. Sh I have that on my channel. You should check it out. They actually move. They're moving stars. They morph into different things. It's crazy. Yeah, there's different stars, constellations, and different spots. Like, oh, yeah. Uh, a week or so, a few weeks ago, uh, I saw the Little Dipper. The Little Dipper, huh? I know. You, you know what's crazy? You can see it vividly from, like, here nowadays, huh? You see the top part to the bottom. Yeah. Here, but the, the top part where it goes up to the spoon. Right. It's like the dot is so tiny. Doesn't make sense, huh? But that's like the only one you can make out is the little dipper. The big dipper is bigger. Have you been able to see it from like uh, ground, like sea level here before? Because usually you had to go to the desert or something to see stuff like that. Yeah. I've never really been able to see it from like this, like the city like this, you know? Oh, what you need is a spot with the very low lights. True. The darker the spot you're standing at, oh, absolutely. the darker it is. Absolutely. And everything around you, the less lighting, the more it pops all around you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it enhances it, bro. Yeah, all this light, even with the light pollution, man, like, it doesn't make sense as to how many stars are getting closer and closer, it seems like. It is, like, yeah, when I, if you see what I'm talking about, you'll know exactly what I mean. Is that right? Uh, Which one? I don't remember. It was uh, like it was 
a sun that collapsed on itself, but it takes so long for the light to hit us. You, to be yeah, by the time, you know, okay, where'd you hear that from, a NASA, a NASA story? Uh, buddy mines into like the stars and stuff. Okay. And, uh, That's cool. I'm not sure when it's going to disappear. Like, supposedly, uh, the star, the sun, the supernova. Yeah, man, my name's Phil. I'm Duffy. Duffy? Duffy, Duffy. Yeah. yeah, I started recording this guy when I was probably like about a year and a half now. Okay. What I think is the key to the book is when you look at the books that show you the conservations, right. you look down at the table and look up there. Right. It doesn't make sense. Oh, there's. You have to face the book straight up. Right, you can have, so you can have to match it. Uh, yeah. for visuals. So I was at uh, Harbor Village up in Costa Mesa, Costa Mesa yeah. and they have these picnic tables in a spot and I'll be laying on the picnic table smoking. It's like, yeah, Harbor Village is cool. It's like you get some good star shots there. Yeah, usually by now you would already see like them coming in blinking or twinkling or whatever. But I don't see any yet. That's pretty weird. Yeah, it's not see, these are the lights that kind of... Yeah, you would... They're, they're supposed to be there, like, right now, but see, since the moon's right there, and I haven't seen it pop up in that direction for a while, you saw it recently? Yeah, I've never seen that. Like, I mean, I haven't seen that in a while. I've seen that in a while. Yeah, it's kind
Right. They had nothing. They didn't even look like twenty. Until Hitler came, bro. When Hitler came, all the technology was there. Yeah. All of a sudden. I forgot about that. The twenty leagues under the sea. That's that's old school right there. Yeah, this is actually a good one right here. A tree was blocking it. Yeah, this is wild right here. This is good footage. Thanks for telling me. I wouldn't have noticed it. Yeah, it's almost there every night. No way. Yeah. And see, it's crazy though, because it doesn't pop up every night either, huh? Well, I don't see it every on night. Clouds. True. Even on a clear sky, though, you won't even see it. It's weird. Look at look how far this thing can go. If the moon's supposedly 92,000 miles away, right, or whatever the hell, gazillion, billion, jillion, how come I could zoom in all the way to the craters? Well, it's close right now. And oh, yeah, you could say that. But, like, even still, man, you can never, ever, like a regular camera won't be able to do this. You see the ridges like that? Like how it's going, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You see that? That's not a camera glitch, it's actually the water that's up there. You know what would actually be a great footage from here with a camera like that? Huh. Small impact. Small impact for sure, dude. You know, do you just see it hit and the dust just flying off? That would, that would be a killer there's, shot. There's people that record the moon all night long, dude, and yeah. they never see any of that stuff, dude. Like, the, there's no, like, spaceships like the, or any weird shit like yeah, that going the moon's on. moon's supposed to be our uh, shield. That's why it's completely covered in craters. Like, supposedly everything that doesn't pass our atmosphere but comes close, the moon sucks it in and it gets bombarded. It's like a liver? <laughs> yeah. It takes in all the gunk? It sacrifices itself right. to uh, save the Earth. Oh, wow. So it's just hey, it's like a human punching bag then. <laughs> yeah, it's like really it controls the ocean, but it takes that's a, all the abuse that the. That's another that thing. Teams. That's another thing, man. It's supposed to like make the uh, yeah, control the um, mood of the ocean, but like, what about on 